Welcome back to the bench guys. Today we're going to be looking at this uh, T12 based soldering iron station again. Um, what we're going to be looking at today is how much power it's actually getting out to these tips. Because each of these tips also contains the ceramic core, uh, or rather the uh, ceramic heater, um, it will depend on a combination of uh, the power supply, the uh, logic board here which actually has the MOSFETs and the internal resistance of these um, tips to determine what the actual uh, amount of power will be. And the way we're going to measure the power is with this INA219 board here um, which is going to be displaying to this little OLED. It's a little bit small but you should be able to see relatively easily there um, volts at the top, amps in the middle, and power at the bottom. Whenever you work with something like this where there's live power you need to be extremely careful. Um, I am going to be flipping the switch here but I'm keeping my hands on the outside of the case um, and uh, pretty much everything you know in here should be you know the wires are, are covered in heat shrink and you know I should be safe but I'm going to be really careful to make sure that I'm not going to touch anything. Um, I'm measuring the power uh, by going in line with the low voltage side. So I, I have a, a wire that goes into the, um, the connector down there, the terminal block, and that goes through the INA219 and then the, that goes back directly into this connector and then I've tapped off the ground um, so that I can measure the voltage. Um, and that's how I I'm, I'm have this test set up. Alright, so without further ado, I'm going to load these tips in and we'll see how much power they draw. I'm going to start with the K type here. This is the chisel bit and this is the one that you would get uh, pre-installed if you bought this as a kit. Um, most kits come with this one. Alright, so I have that installed now. I'll focus on the OLED and I'll flip the switch. Alright, we're at 63 watts, 23-ish volts. And very quickly you can see that the power is being modulated to keep the temperature. Alright, I've turned it off and um, I'm going to switch tips. One of the interesting things about these is that because the ceramic heater is actually in the tip and not down here, it's, I mean, if I left it on for a long time, it'd probably be hot, but I can touch this. Um, so I can actually switch this without, you know, using like pliers or something. Certainly be careful if, uh, you don't want to touch too close to the end, and if it had been on for a long time, I'm sure that would get warm. But for quick jobs, or if you turn it on and then suddenly realize, oops, I meant to use a different tip, that's uh, really nice. Alright, so we have the chisel bit in. Um, I use this one most of the time. So I'm very interested to know what this will draw. And again, let's turn it on. 63 again, a little bit higher on the decimals there. All right. So that's about the same. And finally, uh, let's test this small little um, you know, fine detail uh, one. I suspect that this will draw significantly lower power. It's possible that it just has really bad thermal conductivity, but um, when I've used it before, it was it just didn't seem like it was able to uh, heat things up. Um, so I'm suspecting that it's the that it's the heater is a lower power. So let's find out. All right, that's installed, and let's see what the power is.
and go. Oh, 65 proved me wrong. It's actually the highest watt. So that goes to show how much the actual shape of the tip matters um, and how much metal there is to carry the heat. Because 65 watts is actually the highest wattage of any of them. Uh, for reference, I believe they're rated to be 75. Um, I will verify that. So this isn't getting quite all the way there. But, um, yeah, it's definitely very good. It's possible that um, since this uh, power supply is producing 23 instead of 24 volts, that that's uh, part of it. Well, it may be that the MOSFET just can't... Uh, can't allow enough current through so really not sure what all the factors are there anyway that's it for this overview uh, thank you very much for watching um, I, I can still highly recommend this iron I do use it all the time uh, it's it's my primary soldering iron I, I actually don't use the other one um, and like I said I use the this uh, chisel style bit the most um, it's it's extremely handy uh, although I do actually use that uh, case type you know the big chisel uh, more often than you'd think even with the relatively fine detail if there's anything that has like a ground plane uh, or even actually if you're doing the drag solder method on like a, you know an IC or something uh, but it's also just unbeatable when you're doing using solder braid to desolder things. Anyway, well thank you for watching. Uh, I hope to do a video about um, the temperature accuracy of this using a thermocouple. Um, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, uh, subscribe to, to see updates and um, I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.